Welcome back into Good Morning Nashville. This week we're giving you a behind the scenes look at an animal you might not see on exhibit right now, and that's the giant anteater. The Nashville Zoo is a leader in research on how to take care of these animals from Honduras, Brazil, and Argentina. News 2's Davis Nolan takes a look. Meet Esteban, the Nashville Zoo's brand new male giant anteater pup. He is our 22nd anteater pup born here at the Nashville Zoo. Uh, we currently have 11 anteaters in our facility. We are one of the leading facilities in giant anteater care. And so we really help kind of molding um, how other zoological facilities in New North America, um, how to take care of these guys. And if they have questions, um, we have Dr. Margarita with us today, who's actually one of the lead veterinarians as far as the sp specific species go. So, we're very, very lucky to have not only the facilities, amazing staff, but to be able to take care of these just all around amazing animals to begin with. Now, this is the third baby that Dulce has had, so she's a pretty experienced mom. Overall, this has been a very easy um, experience. We have not had to intervene at all, other than we pull him off of her uh, once a week and we get a weight and we check how much he's been growing. Just wanna make sure that everything is developing as it should. So far, we have been perfect. It has been amazing. Along with ultrasounds on the adults to observe pregnancy, the data they collect on the pups is equally helpful to other zoological organizations. Um, part of the reason why, as you saw, we were taking those measurements is we do help getting that information to them so that if they find a baby in the wild, they can better estimate how old is this based off of certain measurements. And if you're like me, you're probably curious about that long snout, their tongues, and just how do they eat ants? Do you want to show them your tongue? Ah, we've been training him for that. <laughs> and that tongue is key to getting dinner. 30 to 40,000 bugs in one single day. Um, their tongues can get to two feet in length. So how is it they're immune to ant bites? These guys have like that really sticky saliva um, that honestly helps keep their tongue very well protected. Um, as someone who's been licked by them multiple times, I can wash my hands all day. It's going to take a day or two to get all that stickiness off. Um, so it really helps coat and protect that tongue, specifically against ant bites. And mom and baby have a trick to stay safe in the wild. When I put him back on here, you'll see I just put, her back, put him back on his mother's back. And his stripe will line up with hers to help with camouflage. Wow. Um, and that'll help kind of keep him safe in the wild while he's kind of just a limp little noodle hanging onto mom's back. Some pretty interesting creatures, that's for sure. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. And there's lots more that's new at the zoo. You can check out our Zoo Palooza stories on WKRN.com. Just click that News tab and search Nashville Zoo.